Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! First of all today, Keith Vaz is one of Labour's most senior MPs, has been the chairman of the influential Home Affairs Select Committee for almost ten years. But this morning he's fighting for his political reputation after a Sunday newspaper recorded him meeting male escorts. Let's speak to our political reporter, Ellie Price. Ellie, what was uncovered? Well, these are allegations made in the Sunday Mirror that the Labour MP Keith Vaz paid for the services of two escorts that they came to his London flat and during that time they discussed using the party drug known as poppers as well as the possibility of getting hold of some cocaine. Now there was uh, recordings made of this meeting and during those recording it, it, recordings it appears uh, that Mr Vaz described himself as a washing machine salesman called Jim. Now if all that weren't bad enough this morning there are further allegations in some of the papers uh, of links made that a man linked to Mr Vaz's diabetes charity Silver Star uh, had paid money to those escorts. Now all a bit awkward, of course, for the father of two, uh, father of two who's married. And of course, as you say, Joe, he's the chairman of the Home Affairs Select Committee. Pretty much one of the most influential select committees here in Westminster. It deals with issues of law and order and, of course, on issues like prostitution and drug taking. In fact, earlier this year, Keith Vaz was one of the MPs who persuaded government not to go ahead with criminalising uh, poppers. And just last month, the Home Affairs Select Committee released a report uh, suggesting that uh, the, there should be a relaxation in the laws of prostitution. At this point, what's been the reaction, first and foremost, from Keith Vaz himself? Well, Keith Vaz has said that uh, he has referred all of this to his lawyer. Uh, he said that he, it is deeply disturbing that a national newspaper should have paid individuals who have acted in this way. We've also heard from the Charity Commission who said uh, that they are aware of allegations made regarding an individual linked to the charity Silver Star, that they've asked journalists to pass on any evidence, but as yet there is no formal investigation underway. Obviously the big question now is what happens to Keith Vaz? Does he stay as the chair of the Home Affairs Select Committee? Well he said he will make a formal announcement tomorrow when the committee meets, uh, but as yet we're not sure, although of course increasing pressure from a number of MPs here in Westminster. Ellie Price, thank you. Well, let's get more reaction from Chuka Amuna first of all. Surely he has to step aside as chairman of the Home Affairs Select Committee. Well, look, um, the revelations over the weekend, uh, you're, when you see things like that, your in initial immediate feeling is, my gosh, what has his family gone through over the last weekend? But I think it would be wrong. I'm a member of the Home Affairs Select Committee mm -hmm. to, if you dare, if you like, allow one of the Sunday papers to sit as judge and jury on this issue. We need to have a conversation with him, which we will be having during our private session But do you tomorrow. think it's right for him to continue as the chairman of the Home Affairs Select Committee, which was looking at issues like prostitution, was looking at issues as to whether the party drug, the poppers that he's alleged to have taken, should mm. be banned? He was in favour of actually keeping them legal. Is it right that he can really continue in that role? Well, look, we'll be discussing those issues well, during our meeting tomorrow. Well, I don't really want to give an, an opinion because I haven't had a chance to actually talk to him about it. Uh, he has sent round to the committee details of this statement that's been put out. He's been absolutely clear that the work of the committee is paramount. We've got some important reports coming out, not least on female genital mutilation, and we've got five to six ongoing inquiries into counter-terrorism, uh, anti-Semitism and other important topics which we need to get on with. Do you think his reputation has been damaged by this? Well, clearly, if you have revelations in the papers like mm. that and there are allegations he's taking legal advice on it, then, you know, you take legal advice on it because you worry about your reputation. Well, but what will this that isn't... do to the Home Affairs Select Committee? I mean, if you agree that his reputation is damaged in some way, I mean, certainly the Conservative MP, yes, from the uh, mm. Tory side, Andrew Bridgen, has said that he shouldn't just step down as chairman of the Home Affairs Select mm. Committee. He says he'd like to actually see him step down as an MP. Do you think he's justified in saying that? I don't think it's very helpful to jump on these type of bandwagons in a 
advance of actually hearing from Keith. I don't think that's fair. And uh, look, if Andrew Bridgen wants to make party political capital out of this, then you know, so be it. I, I happen to think that actually, when the public reads stories like this, they don't make any distinction as to which party you belong to. I don't think it's a good thing for Parliament um, when we have these types of story. But like I said, I, I, I'm reluctant to give a view because I want to hear what he has to say. I've had a chance to speak to him about this. Theresa Villiers, do you think it is, as Keith Vass has said, deeply disturbing that a national newspaper has paid individuals who have basically tried to entrap him? as he believes? Well, I, I mean, I think it's... There are obviously um, sort of questions to be asked about how that happened, mm. but... Um, I mean, it's, he's I a given, private individual too, He's a private he? individual, but so, he does hold uh, an important role. His role is looking at matters related to um, the drugs like poppers and prostitution. So I think, you know, I wouldn't be rushing to judgment against the newspaper concerned for this kind of thing. It's... Um, but I mean, I, I think where I'm sort of agree with with Chuka is that you know it, it, it's not necessarily the right thing to rush to judgment today. I think it's reasonable for Keith to want to discuss this with his committee. I mean, it seems to me that it's it's going to be very difficult for him to stay on. I mean, do you think he should chairman. stay on? Do you think he should at least step aside? I mean, he hasn't even decided to step aside at this point. I, I think um, it's it's more or less inevitable that he would at least step aside on a temporary basis, yes. Right. I mean, but coming back to this uh, sting operation, do you think there is public interest here? Because that's certainly what the paper will say and has said, in fact, to justify what they did. Well, I, I, to be honest, I don't know the details of what they did and how they went about it, but I think, you know, they... They probably are making a reasonable point. There is a public interest in, in these facts, given the role that um, Keith has in Parliament. Do you think there is a public interest here? I think when you look at social media and some of the coverage and the, the references to sexuality, I think that's been pretty distasteful. Uh, and I don't think really his sexuality uh, it should, you know, should be necessarily a topic of conversation, but it has been. Um, I think the other issues that have been raised uh, potentially are more relevant. But like I said, those are things we will need to explore with Keith. All right. And as you say, you're going to be meeting tomorrow. We'll be meeting tomorrow, with Keith yes. Fass, so we'll hear Pri more after that. Well, it'll be a private session, so we're right. obviously not, we're not going to have cameras in there. Well, we... no, but uh, presumably you well, will after, talk afterwards. After that, look, I, I, I imagine, you know, the, the committee's composed of members across the House from all the different parties, and we'll okay. come to, you know, have a collective discussion and hopefully come to a collective view about things. All right. I've been getting away with it all.